everyone. Hello. Thanks for tuning in to my channel today. I appreciate you guys so very, very much. Please like and subscribe and share. And by the way, the question comes about how to how to subscribe. So YouTube is, is uh, free like it, like you know, Facebook and Instagram. It's it's not a paid subscription. I think that's the confusion. You just click that you like this channel. Oh, I'd be thrilled. Uh, that you like the channel and um, it's kind of like the best way I can put it is if you are designing a package like on your cable and you select channels that you want to have in that. That's that's how I that's the best way I can describe it. <laughs> but please like mine. Uh, and then I get a question a lot. Uh, how can I learn more about you? Uh, there's on my channel. It's uh, a tab that says about me and it talks about me. So click that and there you go. So today's topic, I'd like to discuss a sep a B, what I call ABC, acceptable behavior and conduct. And, you know, I often use the use the phrase, kind people are my kind of people. And so if you're a kind person, you're my kind of person. And I'm, I'm, I'm focusing this, this topic on, it just takes me back to January 6th of this year. So here in America, so I know that, you know, this is viral, you could, watch this video anywhere in the world, which is cool, but I'm an American. So January 6, 2021, the day of the insurrection. So me, example, I was at work when that happened. And we happened to have an all day long kind of interview training with a few scientists. We don't know any, we're not scientific, scientific about you know COVID and how to keep the workplace safe. We even had lunch catered in. So I didn't hear about this until I got off work and I'm driving home and I hear it and my phone, you know, by that time my people were texting me about it. And my first initial thought was shock. What? You're kidding me. And then it was, dismay, disgust, how dare you? I don't care if you're American or not, but whoever you are, our White House is sacred and it should be protected. And I believe, I talk about protection all the time. If you, when you first meet me, I say protect that. Because I grew up in a structured, household, a principal household. We could have fun, but it was structured. My dad was military. My grandfather was military. My godbrother now is military. Retired colonel in the Marines. I'm so proud of him. I'm proud of all of them. I respect the military. So for you, whoever you are, to do such a thing is unacceptable. If you're on your job and you've overstepped your bounds, that's unacceptable behavior and conduct. Harvey Weinstein comes to mind all the time. Unacceptable behavior and conduct. Your positional power has been skewed, S-K-E-W, off center, to make you think you can do such a thing. And it's common to some degree, because more than 150 names came out of Hollywood alone. This conduct is unacceptable. When they talk about, when they want to demean a president, they say that's not presidential. When you think of the church, when you think of leaders in the church sleeping with men and women, and even people that's not of age. Unacceptable. They don't want to talk about the Catholic Church. Be careful talking about the Catholic Church. Why not? Unacceptable to touch those young boys. All of this, we're widening the, the net 
of what we will and will not do or will and will not tolerate. And don't try and call it mental health. Respectfully, I know we're trying to get to the place where we can even have conversations about mental health and we don't make it seem like it's, uh. But again, I have QMA speak, qualified mental health professional. And everything ain't mental health. Some of it is your bad behavior. So don't try that. There's a choice. You driving down the freeway and you go county by county by county and have a car chase with cops and put all of our lives in danger. I love my life. I don't want to lose it like that. It's unacceptable. We seem to have gotten to the point to where to say you sipping tea on somebody is impressive. You got the last word, you ghosted him. You, you, you know, you got the last bit of shape. How is that impressive? You've no standard, you've no principle. You've no standard, I've no standard, I've no principle. Come on now. Because see, let me tell you why. You were born a king and a queen. I'm not talking about Queen Elizabeth in England. I'm not, no, no, no. I'm talking about a higher source authority in which you were robed in your righteousness. So when you do those things, you are lowering who you are. I never say lowering right. Low, I've had a, I've had a video on this before and I did the same thing. <laughs> lowering who you are. Unacceptable behavior and conduct. That's what we mean by fix you. It's okay to fix you. Because that kind of person is not a kind person. And kindness is not found in that kind of person. I love you. I love you. That kind of person is not a kind person. So kindness is not found in that kind of person. Who am I talking about? People who shade other people, who I got the receipts on that, who ghost people, who shun people, who dismay people, anything belittling of another person. Or that's not befitting of who you are in your position or personhood. That's what I'm talking about. I want the old way back. <laughs> Where I expect when I say thank you, you'll say you're welcome. Uh-huh, uh-huh. You're lucky someone say, uh-huh. When you see my blinker on, that you would kindly let me get over. What are you jockeying for position for on a road in a highway? I love my life. I will yield to you, even though I have a right of way. I love my life. People love me and you. You have, any, you have any idea how loved you are? Let me tell you. You're so loved that you are living in these times, these days, these ways, despite the fact that others didn't. And here you are, still adding to your contribution. How will your story be told? Don't be low down. Fix the weakest ways of you. Because see, at the end of the day, you are still a king. You're just not a kind one. So K-I-N-G. Change that G to a D. K-I-N-D. And get back to being the man or woman, gender specific, that you are queen, king, boss. You could be a boss and not be bossy. But what you don't do, 
you don't do. The things I mentioned earlier, what you don't do is go to the White House and do and cause an insurrection. This is our country. Flawed as she is, it's our country. I have such a variety in my cultural makeup. I value my grandfather's wisdom, which I still believe comes from his Indian heritage. I'm not gonna discount that. It makes me who I am, how I was raised. And you have the same story. Principles and standards and conduct and behavior are still supreme. So when you use words like honor and respect, and you're not honorable or respectful, you are violating yourself and other people. Stop even using the word. And I love you. I love us. We're bigger than that. We're better than that. We're braver than that. And I want us back to that. And I hope you can join me. Yes, I love y'all. Bye. <laughs> Bye. I'm sorry, y'all, if I hurt anybody's feelings. Oh, that's the time that's coming out. Oh, oh Lord. I, I can't even. Oh, that's the kindness coming out. Universe, you got it. All right, y'all. Bye. That's the kindness coming out. Lord Jesus. I got to have me. Bye, y'all. <laughs>